Welcome to Team Woolly Sheep Reviews. We're here on location at Clantrisant Common in South Wales. As you can see, it's a nice picturesque flying site. Weather conditions, a bit blustery. We have got blue sky, but it is uh, a little bit windy, but we don't care. We're going to be a hard Welshman. Anyway, here with me is Simon. Say hello, Simon. Morning. Simon is the brains behind Big Nose 13. But apparently, Shikra is the brains behind <laughs> Big Nose 13. So right, what, so. <laughs> what we hear, as you can see, there's a cluster of multi rotors. What we're going to do today is we have the NASA in the NASA M light, but with different GPS packs. Now we got the TBS Discovery and the Hex are running with the genuine NASA kit. However, the Team White Sheep is running with the Chinese Special. No. This is a, a copy of the NASA GPS pack. That's no, not a copy, it's a... Uh, what is it, Sai? The Neo 8, something like that. It's the Neo 8, something like that. Rock, by rock. So if they do well, oh, they're going to want to know all the details. <laughs> Look down there. Down on the links. So anyway, we're going to take off from this mat. We're going to fly over there roughly 100 metres and we're going to hit return to launch or we're going to turn our transmitters off. Are we going to turn our transmitters off? Return to launch. <laughs> return to launch and we're going to see how close to the mat it comes. So first up will be Simon's team white ship being as he's uh, moved together. So I'm going to move my stuff out of the way and we're going to start. Right, Simon's all ready for the off. Team White Sheep, ready to go. Lift off! You ready for return to launch? Yeah, ready? Yeah. Somewhere over there is a team white sheet. It's about, I don't know, it's about 200 meters out. Oh, no, is know. it coming back? Here it comes. It's hovering. And it's coming down. I better move my stuff. Coming down. Remember, this is not the genuine NASA GPS unit. 18 pounds. 18 pounds. From Bangood? Uh, good luck bike. Good luck bike. It's a kit. It's the not original NASA. Good luck bike. Yeah. a place called Good Luck Bike. Yeah, good luck if you get it. That's got to be Chinese. <laughs> is it going to correct? No, oh, it's happy going there. Yep. Right, so how far away is that from the centre? Good six foot. Yep, I'll put a peg in it. Right, next up is the Team Black Sheep with the genuine NASA.
see the uh, Team Black Sheep have on the second attempt, the first attempt, we had to calibrate the compass and um, flown it for a while. And it, it was really fighting with the wind, it just didn't seem to have enough forward uh, momentum to keep going. So we aborted it and then started again. So, yeah, that came in quite accurate. What I'm going to do now is we're going to try another one. I've got a hex there with the new version of the NASA M Light. And we're going to give that one a go and see what happens. try to come back but that's roughly six foot maybe seven foot the same uh, distance as the, the cheap Chinese uh, version so the bottom line NASA GPS puck 79 pound what's the other one called the other one is you block Neo 8 Neo 8 uh, you'll see the kits they sold in non-genuine uh, GPS units. I'll put a link down the bottom. We'll put a link down the bottom. Uh, they're only about 18 to 20 pounds. No, no, the, it's, it's 50 quid with the NASA board and that GPS pack. Right. And that's so. it. So, do you pay the extra? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't care about the wind. We got faith in this baby. Cheap or less, very similar to the Team Black Sheep Discovery in every way. £25. Except it's £25. Big Nose himself is going to fly it. And he haven't got a big nose really. No, it's cold. So I think he's going to have another attempt because um, we only tried it once. It is extremely windy and they are fighting the wind to get back to the pad. So they are working, but they're struggling to get back. So Simon's gone into FPV, he's going to give it a flight. Hit the switch. Ready? Or you can knock the transmitter off. And here she comes. We're trying a different tact. We thought we'd fly so the return journey is into the wind rather than with the wind. Was uh, overshooting the landing point and he was struggling because he was facing the other way. So I was trying to fly backwards to correct. In. Correct in. lost the quadcopter but we've lost the prop. It's blown off there somewhere. Now that was interesting. It was cold. The conditions were pretty much you wouldn't have normally flown with wind that bad. Um, we would have packed up and gone home but we had to do it. It was, uh, we were dying to do it. It was been a, a bit of banter going on between myself and Simon, uh, Big Nose 13, as some know him, um, to see whether or not it's worth paying extra to have the DJI genuine GPS packs. Now, there's a lot of kits out there. They're selling the, they're about 50, 60 quid, and they're selling the genuine DJI NASA flight controller, but the GPS unit is a, is a cheaper pack 
um, after checking out the prices they were 79 pound to 80 pound for the GPS uh, receiver alone which seems to be well overpriced uh, whereas these Chinese units um, seem to look the same very similar but they were only 20 pound so there was a significant price difference were they worth it there's some people saying that they may be more reliable the DJ ones may last longer mm, electronics all made in China I uh, I doubt I doubt if it's worth it okay might be better quality plastic mm. however if you get the kit and it's all genuine happy days but if you buy a copy one as you've seen it's not the end of the world they're pretty much the same uh, they perform quite well this team white sheep was flying well uh, if anybody had problems it was me with the genuine DJI um, that's mainly my own fault making alterations and not recalibrating and readjusting but there you are live and learn but yeah so the final conclusion is it worth paying the extra I paid the extra so am I biased no but I was impressed with the way that one performed Simon paid half price so mm, it's a big saving it's a big saving and they do seem to work so yeah it was a thumbs up from big nose and a thumbs up from team holy sheep reviews so yeah we say fine you got no worries they seem to work it didn't get worse than today weather was bad cloud coverage wind and home they came so yeah thank you very much so buy some and build some you won't regret it. See you soon.